What is going on guys? Greggles TV. We're going to talk about Wi-Fi on the new Android Pie version of Samsung One UI. And I have it running there here on my Galaxy Note 9. So let's jump into it. So what you want to do is swipe down from the top and you're going to see your Wi-Fi. So just press and hold on that and it brings you into Wi-Fi. So we're going to jump through like some of the cool things that are in here. First of all, it, first of all it's going to show you what your network you're connected to and then it's gonna show you other available networks. Pretty easy, pretty simple to follow on. If you wanna turn Wi-Fi on and off, you can tap it right there. You can also go into Wi-Fi Direct if you have a phone and you're currently visible to nearby devices, you can connect via Wi-Fi Direct, maybe to send files, things like that. Other than that, the good stuff is in right here. We hit those three dots in the top right. You will not probably have Contact Us. I have it because I'm using the beta version of uh, Samsung One UI. So what you wanna do is hit advanced and it's gonna bring you into some really, really cool stuff. So first of all is switch to mobile data. And this is gonna be cool because you can either set it to normal mode or be really, really aggressive. And you can use mobile data to access the internet when your Wi-Fi internet connection is only slightly unstable. This may increase your data usage. So basically if your Wi-Fi isn't that great, it's gonna automatically switch you over to whatever, LTE, hopefully, or an LTE, uh, maybe 5G by the time the S10 comes out, but that's gonna be allowing you to, again, switch over to the network so you get the best possible internet, basically at all times. You also have network exceptions. Your phone will remain connected to these networks even if the connection is unstable. And other than that, you can turn it on and off, like I said, or change it to normal mode if you don't want it to be as aggressive. So we'll go back one. Next up, you will see you have turn on Wi-Fi automatically. This is really cool. So turn on Wi-Fi in places where you use Wi-Fi frequently. So it'll notice patterns, you know, maybe use Wi-Fi at home a lot or at the office or your friend's house, your mom's house. And maybe when you go to your friend's house, your mom's house, your house, whatever, wherever it may be, and you have Wi-Fi turned off, it will automatically turn your Wi-Fi on for you if you have this enabled, allowing you to not have to use up maybe your mobile data or maybe you get a better connection with Wi-Fi in that area. And again, maybe you had Wi-Fi just turned off for whatever reason, it'll automatically turn that on for you. I love that as a feature. Um, obviously you can turn it off or disable Wi-Fi even if it turns on at that point, but it's still a great little feature to have. Next up is secure Wi-Fi. Now this costs money. They do give you a little bit of uh, free Wi-Fi, but basically auto protect for unsecured Wi-Fi networks. So if you go in here, it's gonna be like if you're at an airport or maybe you're at um, um, you know, in a park you're using the Wi-Fi or wherever you may be, like an unsecured Wi-Fi network, it's gonna protect you. It's gonna give you basically encryption over Wi-Fi and you can go in here and mess with the, 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 the Wi-Fi settings in here. You can do auto protect unsecured Wi-Fi. You can do Wi-Fi protection plan and this costs money, like I said, if you wanna use it. So it's either if you're just gonna use it for 24 hours, it's gonna cost 99 cents or per month you can do $1.99. Obviously it's probably better if you just go that way, but regardless, you do get 250 megs per month for free. Not a lot, but at least you get something for free. Maybe you just wanna check something real quick at um, airport Wi-Fi or hotel Wi-Fi, you can do that securely with that and make sure that's enabled. Obviously you'd have to, have to hit protect. Uh, next up, you got network notification. This I keep off and I keep it off because it's annoying. Have you ever had a Samsung phone and it constantly tells you, oh, there's a Wi-Fi network available in your, you know, your, your notifications. I always keep that off. It's seriously one of the most annoying things that Samsung does. I can't think of another phone that does it. It probably are, but it's just one of the most annoying things. So I keep it turned off. If you want to turn it off, I've just showed you right there. Other than that, you can manage, you can see your saved Wi-Fi network. So you can click in here and maybe you've connected to other Wi-Fi networks. You can go in here and, you know, click on, I don't know, maybe you want to go to uh, uh, Janet's guest and you can hit forget, or turn off auto connect or whatever you want in there. That way it uh, doesn't auto connect or whatever. Maybe you want to remove it, clean it up. Other than that, you have Wi-Fi control history. View apps that have turned Wi-Fi on or off recently. You can come in here and see what apps have done that for you. Hotspot 2.0, which automatically connects to Wi-Fi access points that support Hotspot 2.0. Install network certificates, install security certificates from your phone, and that's basically it. Most people will probably use the first couple settings that I showed. Um, hopefully that helps you out with what to notice and see within the Wi-Fi 
uh, settings of the new One UI, and it might look identical to what you have right now in software, so maybe helped you out that way. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!